we get influenced by people around that person. Have you seen when a politician enters, he never comes alone. He comes along with 5, 10, 15 people. Why? It creates influence. People are influenced when there are people around you and behind you. We get influenced by infrastructure. When you go for admissions, admissions to an institute or a, a college, what do we see? Infrastructure. Oh, look at this. So many buses are there outside and the security and the glass doors. Hello there. Namaste. My name is Sandeep Patel. You will watch this video till end only if you get influenced by my video. You will be influenced by my English, by my knowledge, by the quality of the editing and you will be influenced by my subscribers. It's an influencing factor. If you feel like, oh, okay, he has some decent number of subscribers, you will watch this video. You may like the video, you may subscribe my channel. Influence is very powerful psychological effect on us which most of the time we never realize it's happening. There are two types of influences, good influence and bad influence. Well, good influence, of course it's good influence. I mean, if you really like a person, for example, if you, if you see those people who have really had a great impact on your life, like your mother, like your father, you are influenced by them. A teacher has influenced you. But today, uh, look at this. Today I see we are getting influenced by some people who we should not get influenced by. And we make a mistake and we lose our money. We, uh, we get deceived, we get cheated. In fact, I have seen some marriages falling apart because we get influenced. And there is one term here called as infatuation. Infatuation means you actually get influenced by that person to such an extent that you just decide, okay, yeah, this is the best person. Oh, this is the best person. He's very influential. <gasps> He's very impressive, knowledgeable, handsome, rich, whatever. And the fact of the matter is something else. Youngsters, especially boys and girls, they get kind of uh, influenced by physical looks. If a person is physically attractive, they get influenced. Now here, what's the problem? <laughs> the problem is you, you are only giving importance to physical looks. But you don't know the character of the person. You don't know his thought process. But you get influenced. Which is a mistake. When you see the reality, in real life, in real life, you only don't need that uh, physical looks. You need character. You need the attitude. You need that mindset that is equally, in fact, more important than physical looks. I know one girl where I used to go to in a gym. She married a a fit person, looking handsome and physically very fit and muscular. And then he was abusive. He was abusive. He was alcoholic, actually. And then I don't need to tell you what happened afterwards. We get influenced by English. We get influenced by English. I mean, if someone is very fluent in English, we get infatuated, influenced by that wow. person. And we think that person is intelligent. He is uh, educated. And we have a special respect for that person. But the fact of the matter is, English is only a language. It's just a language like any other language. Like in, in, in US, everyone speaks in English in other countries also. But in India especially, we get influenced by a person who is very fluent in English. But that person's character, that person's education, that person's skills are equally important. If, if not more important. But we get influenced. We get influenced by speech. This is a very important factor. Politicians influence. Motivational speakers influence us. How this happens? See, understand. There is a huge power in communication skills. And this has been used by some people for their personal gains. And when they're talking in front of the crowd, their communication skills, the examples they give, the energy they show, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that has been... Is, is, is the fuel to influence the audience and they get influenced and they vote or they buy the products or they join some schemes and then the problem starts and then we say oh I thought that this person is like this and he is really like this I did not know this well there is a huge power of influence in speech that's the reason why today go and see at the world level all the great communicators are leaders 
no matter how good they are in administration and their character, but still they are leading. And the reason is the power of speech. We get influenced by knowledge. If a person has a knowledge, especially knowledge, knowledge from uh, uh, spirituality, knowledge from some ancient uh, stuff, we get influenced. That's a, that, and the fact again, the thing is, only that knowledge he has. But understand, only knowledge is not going to help you. Or knowledge is not sufficient. What about that person's behavior? What about that person's action? Because it is said that judge a person by his actions and not by his thoughts or talk or knowledge. But we get influenced by knowledge. If someone is very knowledgeable in your class, in your office, and he has a lot of information with him, we get influenced. We get very easily influenced with knowledge. We get influenced by wealth. Wealth. If someone is having a, a, a big car, uh, uh, someone is wearing some very extravagant outfits, uh, shows his lifestyle, uh, visits, uh, go for goes for vacations, we get influenced. But again, there are two things. First thing is really rich people, really rich people, they never kind of uh, do this. Rich people never show off their wealth. They don't need to. Because for them, important, if you see all the rich people like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs or Warren Buffett, they have an ordinary lifestyle. They will not go and show off their cars and their wealth. And the fact is, I have seen many people, even though they are not rich, they are trying to show they are rich, show off, flaunt. And in the process, they spend all the money. I mean, I have seen many people buying SUVs, but I know their income actually, they are around me. Their income is not uh, what should be. I mean, they're earning few bucks, but they're buying expensive cars. Why? They want to influence. We get influenced by wealth. We get influenced by infrastructure. When you go for admissions, admissions to a institute or a, a college, what do we see? Infrastructure. Oh, look at this. So many buses are there outside and the security and the glass doors. Uh, in hotel, especially it is there. If you go in hotel, you will see, the, wow, look at, the, look at the security, the granite, the marble. Uh, oh, look at the POP and the ceilings. We get influenced by all these things. It has an influence. In hotel, it's fine. But in educational institutes, I believe that the best thing in an institute is the teacher, not the infrastructure. But today, parents don't see that. They get influenced and take admissions into big institutes where teaching, I don't know what happens here. I know around me also there are many big institutes where teaching is not done, but something else is going on. But I have seen some engineering colleges, especially government engineering colleges, they don't have a big infrastructure. But the most important thing is the teachers are very qualified and students want to learn. That's more important. Now, we get influenced by celebrities. Do you get influenced by celebrities? You know, like we have seen crazy fans standing outside and just waiting to see a glimpse of their favorite celebrity. Now, we don't know what is the person actually. We get influenced because we believe that this is the same person as he was on the screen. But the screen personality is only a character written by a script writer. He's just performing the character. In real life, he's something else. And then sometimes you see any video where that Celebrity is found doing something wrong or unethical or illegal. But celebrities are very clever. They don't do this. They always avoid getting into controversies because they know that they are influencers and people follow them. And if they do something wrong, it will impact their popularity and their films and their income also. They are very clever about this. Next time, be careful about which celebrity you are following. I believe that following film celebrities, instead of that, I should. I think you should follow celebrities from your life actually, from your real life, who are really doing something. It can be anyone. It can be a social worker. It can be your mother. It can be your father. It can be your uncle. It can be your neighbor. They are real celebrities whom we respect from the bottom of our heart. We get influenced by people around that person. Have you seen when a politician enters, he never comes alone. He comes along with 5, 10, 15 people. Why? It creates influence. People are influenced when there are people around you and behind you. Mostly you will see the politician is walking in front and then his followers 
so-called followers are walking behind him. You can go and see some business leaders, some motivational speakers doing the same thing, same trick, I will say, that is to influence you. We get influenced. I mean, everywhere, everyone is trying to influence you. And now let us come to me. I don't try to influence anyone, but my results, my results will influence you. My behavior, my actions will influence you. Yes, we are building an institute, but not to influence, but to provide the facilities. Initially, I had a small institute. I mean, only two rooms were there. Nothing was there to influence anyone. In fact, the color of my, that, that room, they, it peeled off. It had only two small rooms in the basement. But still, students, many did not join actually, because we did not have a big infrastructure. But many joined me because they believed in me. They were not influenced by the infrastructure. They, are, they wanted to learn. They understood, they inquired about me from the past students, from parents, and then they joined me. It is, this is what I believe in that, making quality videos, quality content, honest, true content, is the best way to influence. Now, if you are into influencing others in, in this wrong way, then let me give you one warning. It will not last for too long. Temporary, you can influence. Go and see around people. But for long term, you are going to get into trouble. And it's it's not authentic. It's fake. And fake things don't last for too long. And you will never sleep peacefully at night. So next time, next time, open up. Open your eyes. Look for the evidence. Look for the proof. Whatever you get influenced. Maybe it's not the fact actually. It may be fake. Be aware of what's really happening. What is the truth? People around you, products are there. Videos are there. Politicians are there. Many influencers are there. Be careful about who is influencing your life because it's going to have a huge impact on your psychology. Hope I have influenced you sufficiently with this video in a positive sense. Thanks a lot for watching the video and I hope that you will get influenced by the right person, not by getting attracted towards some flashy things, talks or show-offs, but the right thing with proper evidence and proof. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Goodbye. Namaste to you. Thank you.